All right, here's an important initiative. This week, Florida Department of Law Enforcement will hold its first ever mental health seminar. It's free for law enforcement mm. and their spouses. Yeah, and there's a good reason for that, too. In 2021, Florida saw 41 former officers die by suicide. In 2022, that number went up even more. New Six's Catherine Silver tells us about the new push to address mental health in law enforcement. Sometimes this job, and in, in any first responder's job, it takes you down a dark road. Doug Monda's dark road was a series of traumatic events he witnessed firsthand as a narcotics agent and SWAT officer with the Cocoa Police Department. One day, uh, an 11-year-old kid stole a truck, and we tried to stop him to make a long story short. He hit me. It was that serious injury that led to an isolating recovery at home and the depression that resulted in Monda's attempt to take his own life. He went back to work. I had been gone for a while, and um, one of the officers that was sitting next to me leaned over and asked me a question. He said, can I talk to you? And he said, um, I need help. And I knew right then and there that the system was broken. That moment was your aha uh -huh Yeah, moment. I'm not the only one. Doug is the real story behind the statistics. In 2021, 41 current and former officers in Florida died by suicide. The next year, it was 48, and last year, it was 44. So what that tells you is over the last three years, a corrections officer, law enforcement officer, or a probation officer dies by suicide every eight days. Tuesday, Florida's Department of Law Enforcement presented their solution, the first post-critical incident seminar. This week, they will host 35 officers and their families for three days of counseling and peer support. Who better to talk to than someone who has been in their shoes? We've shown you other efforts locally and statewide, like this Orlando Police Officers Support Program for Fellow Officers, a PTSD law for first responders passed in 2018 after New 6 pushed for it. What's your biggest challenge? Is it getting first responders to seek out the help they need? There's still a stigma attached. And what changes that is having our first post-critical incident seminar. Monda says he knows programs like this get results. I still, I'm, I'm in care. I still go to therapy. At least and now I know what I'm looking for. And he knows it will save lives. You talk about your trauma. Are you hopeful others will feel comfortable enough to talk about it as well? Yeah. They look at me and they go, well, if he can do it, then I can do it. The seminar is free and FDLE says there's already a waiting list for the next one in May. Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6. Well, I'm so glad they take care of the spouses, too, because uh, oh they go gosh. through so Well, you know, they, they see things that are unimaginable, right? And then yeah. that's not dinner talk. You don't want to take that home, mm -mm. but sometimes it happens. So. Yeah, so what do you do with it? Yeah. You need a class. You got the support.